When it comes to sliding doors, their most famous use is undoubtedly in Japan. Traditional Japanese structures use elegant sliding doors that are an important part of the country's culture and history. Not only are they beautiful additions to any home, traditional Japanese sliding doors also having a rich cultural significance to them. Both for Suma and Shoji run on wooden rails at the top and bottom. A common distinction is made between Fasuma and Shoji. Fasuma use heavier paper or sometimes cloth and are opaque, serving as a more distinct barrier. Unlike walls, however, Fasuma can easily be removed to rearrange space within the house. In Japanese architecture, fusuma are vertical rectangular panels which can slide from side to side to redefine spaces within a room, or act as doors. They consist of a lattice-like wooden understructure covered in cardboard and a layer of paper or cloth on both sides. They typically have a black lacquer border and a round finger catch. In order to create a separation between rooms, at certain occasions, the fusuma is used as a wall and at others it is used as a door. Not only is it a useful feature of a home, but it is also used as a room decoration. Shoji are lighter than Fusuma, with paper affixed to a wooden lattice. They prevent people from seeing through, but brighten up rooms by allowing light to pass, which gives rooms with washi-based Shoji a dreamlike, beautiful atmosphere. As paper is porous, Shoji also help airflow and reduce humidity. These sliding door and window coverings are fashioned from light wooden frames that have a single large sheet of washi sandwiched between them. In other words, these partition doors and window coverings are mainly made from this rough, fabric-like paper. 
It may seem hard to believe at first, but these fragile-looking doors are excellent at stopping both the wind and the rain. Along with the Fusuma, Shoji and Tatami straw mats make up a typical Japanese room. Another panel that creates a traditional Japanese atmosphere in every room, folding screens called Biobu. It literally means wind barrier have been used by the Japanese for hundreds of years to create intimate spaces, as room dividers, as well as add beauty to any room. Traditional Biobu are usually two, four, or six panel screens which have a lacquered wood edge. Both paper and silk were used as materials for the artists to paint on. Many pieces exhibit a gold or silver leaf background and create a luminous effect. By using the Japanese paper mounting technique karabari, mizubari, the layers of paper were mounted carefully with wheat starch, on top of the wood build in the lattice shape. Hinges are uniquely made with paper with the butterfly method, open on both sides, enabling each panel to be connected seamlessly.